Okay, sorry we got cut off last time. I will redo that part. I'm going to go to debug, start without debugging. I'm going to move it over here so we can kind of see both things at once. So, um, I think I had entered 6 for the first integer, 9 for the second integer, 3.14, and then 6.9. And it prints out 10.04 because, of course, we were adding A and B which are our decimal numbers in 3.14 and plus 6.9 is 10.04. So I'll press any key to continue. We won't look at this example anymore, but let's play around with module arithmetic. And I think I haven't mentioned, and let me go back over here. Whoops, wrong one. Mm, the module arithmetic is an integer only function. So I'll add that to the notes here. It's an integer only operator. So, and so for example, if I try to say C is equal to A mod B, which are both decimal numbers, that's interesting that it's working. So maybe I'm wrong about that, but let's see. I'll do console.writeline, and I'll write line C. And I'm going to comment out this whole section because I'm not, I'm, I don't want to have to enter all of those. So if I do a slash asterisk in front of the X, and another, and then an, whoops, an asterisk slash, after the y, I'm only going to now be inputting decimal numbers. So let's run this and see what it does with the module with decimals. Let's see. Let's do 3.5. And let's do um, 0.6. And so it adds them. So this first number, 4.1, is adding them. And then it tells me what's left over is 6. So 3.5, 35 divided by 6 would be, oh, I guess it works with decimals. That's interesting. Previous languages I've used, it was an integer. Um, it was an integer function. I do imagine, though, you'll be using it with integers more than with decimals. So now I'm going to do the opposite thing. I am going to reactivate my integer input and I'm going to deactivate or comment out my decimal input. In fact, I'm going to I'll, I'll comment out to here. So those are multi-line comments that start with this and end with this. Um, instead of having to go slash 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 with a multi-line comment. So now I'm going to change these to Z, and this will be X mod Y, and we're going to want to output Z. But let's try this. Let's, let's write some information for it, and we'll say X divided by plus sign here. And then I'm going to write divided by, and then I need to print whatever's in y, so plus y. And then I'm going to say as a remainder of, and I close that literal string, and I'm going to write z. So x divided by y has a remainder of z. Again, it's just like elementary school. It is awesome. So, debug. Start without debugging. Enter an integer. Let's go with, hmm, 26. Let's divide that by 8. 26 divided by 8 has a remainder of 2, which of course is correct, because 8 goes into 26 three times to give us 24. Um, we could even modify this. We could say 
um, x divided by y equals I'm going to add another variable in here. I'm going to say int za. za is going to be equal to x divided by y. And so I'm going to say that x divided by y equals za and has a remainder of z. So let's run that again. I think I gotta close it first. Boop. Debug, start without debugging. Please enter an integer. Let's do 14, let's divide that by five. And it says 14 divided by five equals two and has a remainder of four. Brilliant. So when we use this percent symbol, it's really the modulus sign um, and it gives us the remainder. Let's see what happens. Remember in the previous video, I wanted to know what 7 mod 10 was. So what's 7 divided by 10? So let's run the program again with 7 and 10. So we want to do 7 and we want to do 10. 7 by 10 equals 0 and has a remainder of 7. Uh, of course, it doesn't have a remainder of 10. Um, yeah, because that makes sense. So um, you're going to have a couple of programs that have you input numbers, well, input, and then convert to the number type, um, and then use some of these operands, including the module. And you'll see, like, at first it doesn't make sense why we would have this operator, because who worries about reminders anymore? But there are applications for it, which you will see in your assignments. Okay, good luck. <laughs>